Welcome to this video. In the previous video, we solved an example based on volume of cube. Today, in this video, we will look at some misconceptions based on this. Thomas, let us keep the clothes we have collected to donate in this cubic box. No manas. Because how many clothes we can put in the box depends on its volume. We should put clothes in this cuboid box since the volume of the cuboid is always greater than the volume of the cube. No, 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 not necessarily, Thomas. Let us find the solution to this confusion through mathematics. It's math time! Manas, you find the volume of this cubic box and I will find the volume of the cuboid box. Both started signing for the volumes of their respective boxes. Friends, if the length of the sides of the cubic box is 35 centimeters and the length, width and height of the cuboid box are 27 centimeters, 25 centimeters and 20 centimeters respectively, then can you find the volume of both these boxes? Pause the video to try it yourself and then match your answer. Captain Manas and Thomas also found volumes of both boxes in this way. Look, Thomas, the volume of the cubic box is 42,875 cubic centimeters and the volume of the cuboid box is 13,500 cubic centimeters. This means that the volume of the cubic box is much higher than the volume of the cuboid box. It is a very common misconception that between two identical looking cubes and cuboid shaped objects, the volume of the cuboid is always greater than the volume of the cube. But as we have just seen, this is not always necessary. You are right Manas. Now I will never repeat this mistake. <laughs> Better late than never. Let us quickly return to our world. Fill the clothes in the cubic box and go and donate them. The two friends together filled the clothes in the box and went out to donate them. Friends, in this video, we have seen some misconceptions based on volume of cube. So hopefully, you should now have a good understanding of volume of cube.